Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I will share with you one scenario based question which was recently asked in the Power BI interview in one of the MNCs. This question I have collected from one of my connections on LinkedIn. So let us talk about the scenario and also its solution. And before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos as you won't find the content like this anywhere else on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram. The page name you can see at the bottom of the screen. So what was the scenario? See the interviewer said you have a bar chart as you can see here. We have a bar chart here on the Y axis. You have different product colors and their corresponding order quantity. As you can see from the title order quantity by product color. But the interviewer said if you want any other dimension over here, for example, if you don't want product color here, if you want category name here or if for example, if you want subcategory name here or any other dimension present in the model. So how we can make it dynamic? Basically the question is how we can make this Y axis dynamic so that whatever the user selects, it should show the order quantity corresponding to that selected dimension. For example, right now it is order quantity by product color. So if I select here product color, it will remain the same. But if I select here category name, it will show me the categories and their corresponding order quantities. If I select subcategory, it will show me the subcategory names and their corresponding order quantity. So how to make this Y axis dynamic on this bar chart? So this is the main question or the scenario that is being asked. So after listening this question or scenario, you would find it very difficult to answer, right? Because how to make any axis dynamic? It is quite possible, but we have to do a lot of things to achieve that thing, right? But we have one feature of Power BI which can help you to easily implement this kind of scenario and that's why this question was asked by the interviewer. So as of now, I have already implemented it, right? As you can see here, it, it is selecting the same way, but I will tell you how we can do this step by step so that you will never forget in your entire life. This scenario can be implemented by field parameters functionality or feature in Power BI. Now, what is field parameters? Let us see through the Microsoft documentation. So you can see here, I'm on the Microsoft Learn documentation. You can see field parameters allow users to dynamically change the measures or dimensions being analyzed within a report. Let us see how we can practically implement this feature in Power BI. So for that, again, I'm going here I will click on another page here and I will implement the same in step by step manner. So for that, what you have to do, you have to first click on this bar chart. Okay. Click on the order quantity that we wanted to analyze. This is done here. You want the product color on Y axis. You just click on product color and you get the order quantity by product color, right? This is the first step, but we have to make it dynamic. So what we will do, we'll go to the modeling tab here. We'll click on this new parameters and click on this fields option. Okay, now I will make this test the name. I will give the name test here. Now we can pull all the fields that we want here that we actually want to show it on dynamic axis. For example, I want the first one as product color. So I will select product color. The next one I want the category. So I will select category name and the third one I want the subcategory name. So I will select that. The only thing that you have to keep in mind that all these tables should be interconnected with each other means there should be a specific model. Then only you should pull the columns. Okay. Now we have pulled the required columns that we want on the dynamic axis. You can see there is one checkbox here, add slicer to this page. We have clicked here so that we have the slicer also for this particular options. We'll click on create option. So you can see here, we have a slicer of product color, category name and subcategory name. Now, if I click here, on the product color or on the category name or on the subcategory name, nothing will happen because we haven't connected this particular field parameters with this line chart. That's why it is not interacting. So the next step is to make it interactive. So for that, what we will do, we'll go here on the bar chart and we will remove this product color from here. What we will do, we'll click on this test field parameter that we have created and pull this test on this particular Y axis. Now you can see here, you see the subcategory name over here on the Y axis. And now if the user selects category name, it will show it dynamically. If I select product color, it will show the product color and also the respective order quantity as you can see here. So this is the answer that was expected by a candidate. I hope you learned something from this video. So please share the video to all your friends and colleagues, whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.